the sudden aspect to the moon. Out of all of the potential aspects to the sun from planets, I think this one is one of the most interesting ones. Mainly because when we look to the sun and the moon, we look to both the female maternal figure for the moon and the uh, male maternal or paternal figure, I guess you would say, uh, for the sun. And when you look at these two in a birth chart, it's kind of cool because you can get a pretty good idea of the relationship between your mother and your father. A lot of people who have adverse aspects between their sun and their moon actually have parents that aren't together or are parents who even if they are together, they have very different viewpoints. Um, if you have one of the strong uh, aspects, like a conjunction, your moon and your sun are going to be very much so in tuned. Um, and they're going to work together very well as well. Uh, with the conjunction, your emotional nature is such a huge part of your ego. It's not going to be like somebody else who can fluctuate between the two, who can fluctuate between like their ego desires and their emotional desires or their emotional like instincts. It's all going to be merged together and you will pretty much be a highly emotional creature in general. With some of the negative aspects like the square or the opposition, you're dealing with almost a fight or flight mode on regards to emotion. If it's the opposition, you're either going to be displaying your sun energy or your moon energy at all times, and that can get really tricky. Um, there can be a lot of emotional issues, underlying emotional issues that are, is, that are very uh, apparent to people around you simply by the way that you react to things. So pretty much with the sun and the moon, what we can honestly see is the relationship of the parents. And those two in aspect is going to give you an incredible view of what your mom and your dad would have been like together, kind of, how they would have shaped you. Um, the sun and the moon in aspect, is, it's just going to paint a really good picture of that. Either it's going to paint a picture that is very positive and harmonious if there's a trine or a sextile, or it can be not as harmonious and positive if there's a square or an opposition. Regardless, though, your emotional nature is going to be very, very much so a part of who you are, a part of what your ego is derived from. Um, it's not going to be as lighthearted as if there were no aspects. Uh, you're going to be able to fluctuate kind of between the two in a more smooth sailing kind of way. Um, if they're merged together, though, more so, you're almost all of your instinctual responses are going to be colored by both your ego and your emotional nature, your moon. With harsh aspects between the sun and the moon, you can actually see kind of what parent um, you would have related to more. And that's a really interesting part of that. Um, and it, due to that fact that you didn't maybe have a healthy bond with both of your parents, you're going to be projecting the personality of either one or the other outward. And it's going to kind of look a little bit uh, unstable to the people around you because they're going to see um, predominantly those traits within you kind of more so than you would if there were no aspects made between the two. One of the most important things to do or to keep in mind when you have aspects between your sun and your moon is to really learn to embrace yourself. Um, in all different ways so that it doesn't come out harshly, especially if you have negative aspects between the two. Um, come to terms with who you are. Know what your emotional nature is. Know what your ego drive is. And try your hardest to kind of learn to mesh those two energies uh, in the most positive way possible. Or it is going to come out in a way that it does appear to be a little bit crazy to the people around you. Because even if you aren't realizing that you're doing it, other people are going to be able to see it. They're going to be able to see what energy you're projecting, and it's not going to be that smooth. So yeah, in general, that is, uh, those are <laughs> the traits and the description of uh, people who have aspects between the sun and the moon.